pi. So today we're solving and other. Now, and other basically asks for us to, to check whether or not out of the two given strings, if one of them appears at the very end of the other given string. Now, this problem is not case sensitive. So the way we, we want to solve this problem is first by addressing the case sensitive issue. So we'll create the method, call it end other, which takes in two strings, we'll say a and b. Now, since this problem is not case sensitive, we can change both strings to lowercase. And we're very lucky that the problem gives us this note right here. Now, once we address the issue of case sensitivity, we need to actually start checking for the strings. However, there's something we should keep in mind. When we look, uh, when we look ourselves at these example problems, for example, and other, this first one right here, how do we know whether to check for the second string, whether or not it's inside the first string, or to check whether the first string is inside the second string? And that goes for every single and other problem, example problems and actual problems. Now, as humans, the way, we, well, the way we can find that out is by looking at which string is longer. We can automatically see by looking at this example, for example, that ABC, the second string, is shorter than high ABC, the first string. So we check to see whether this is in this. However, we can't always check whether the second string is inside the first string. Because if we look at the second example, right here, we can see that the second string is actually longer than the first string. So it wouldn't make sense to try to check if high ABC is inside ABC. It doesn't work that way. So in this case, we would check if the first string is inside the second string. So the way this method will work is we need to create two cases. The first case is if the first string is longer than the second string. Because right here, for example, if the first string is longer th than the second string, then we check if this is in this. So why don't we deal with that case first, and we'll deal with the opposite case afterwards. So if the length of A is greater than the length of B, if it is, then we just have to check the substring, the very last substring in the string of A, and check if that is equal to the string of B. Now, one thing we can note should be pretty, um, should be pretty intuitive, but we'll just say it just in case. With the substring of length a that we're checking to see if it equals to b is you know a length of is is the same length as length as this as string b. Sorry, that's really confusing. But basically, what we're checking and the other string are the same length. So, if a at length a minus length b is equal to b. Now. If you're unfamiliar with Python notation, basically, if you have a string, a, Python treats a string as an array of characters. So here, normally in Python, when you have a string and then brackets, you the bracket can take in two different parameters. It can take in number one, it can take in one number, colon, and then number two. Number Numbers one and two are both optional. Let's say you only have one number in here, number one, inside the brackets. Is a quick little lesson on Python terminology, or well, Python syntax, basically. If you have one number inside the brackets, this is basically saying the character at that index. So here, if we ran a at number one, and let's say number one is zero, then it'll return h. So, like that. So let's say high abc is our string a in this case then saying a at 0 returns 0. Now, what happens if we put a, a colon after that? Now, if we put the colon after that, that means everything after that. So in this case, it would be 0 plus everything after. So it would be the, the entire string, basically. Now, what if we did a colon and then a number? So let's say colon 2. That basically means that you're going all the way up to, but not including, the index 2. So here, we can count 0 is h, 1 is i, and 2 is a. So we're going 0, 1, and not 2, because it does not include this number. So a at colon 2 would return high. 
Now, what happens if you have 0 colon 2? Well then, intuitively, that would return starting from here and up to, but not including here. So in this case, it would return 0, 1, but not 2. So let's finish that aside and go back to the actual problem. Here, we're checking inside string A whether or not the string at length A minus length B is equal to B. If it is, then we return true. And if not, then we return false. That's only our first case, though. We have to remember that we have to check for the other case. Now, if this statement is not true, if A is not longer than B, that means one of two things. Either B and A are e of equal length, or B is greater than A. But both of those cases can be addressed if we use the right if statement. So now all we need to check for is whether or not the opposite is equal to A. Now it doesn't matter whether A and B are the same size or if B is longer than A, because if the two strings are the same size, then you can check for either one of them inside each other. It won't matter. So now you can see here, whatever we did, oh, forgot the B. Whatever we did here, we're just switching it here. We're just checking for the opposite string inside the opposite string. Now, if this is true, then we return true. And if not, then we return false. Oh, that was a mouthful. But if you, if you do that, then everything should work out fine. Thank you.